I greet you in the name of Jesus Christ, and we are so excited that God has enabled us to see this month, and we celebrate the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Today I want to talk about inherit royal message. Paul says in Romans chapter 1 verse 16, I'm not ashamed of the gospel because it is the power of God unto salvation to anyone who has faith to the Jew first and also to the Greek. The royal message is the message of the king and is the message of Jesus Christ coming to this planet, king of kings and lord of lords. Three things that we want to talk about this message. Inherit royal message. Number one, the message is redemptive. It is the redemptive message. Secondly, it is the restoring message. And thirdly, it is the revival message. Let me repeat that again. It is the redemptive message. Secondly, it is the restoration message. And thirdly, it is the revival message. Talking about the redemptive message. We know this verse, John 3.16. Jesus said, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. When Jesus came, the Bible says, John chapter 1, verse 12, he came to his own people, but his own people did not receive him. But to those who received him, he gave them the power to become the children of God, for they were born, not of the will of man, nor the will of flesh, but by the will of God. Jesus came to redeem humanity. He came to buy us back. And it was all based on the love of God. This message is a message of love. It is a message where God extended his love to us by sending his only son to die on the cross for each one of us. To cleanse us from our sins. To pay the penalty of sin. Because the Bible says the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life. This message is the redemptive message. It is the message that Jesus Christ has redeemed us because of Calvary, through his blood, and because of the love of God for each one of us. But secondly, not only is it a redemptive message, it is a restoration message. When Adam sinned, he fell short of the glory of God. And in doing so, something left him. God had breathed life into him, but life went out of him. The Bible says that he died. The life of God was no longer in him. When Jesus came, he came to redeem us, and not only to redeem us, but to give us something, to restore back to us something that we had lost. And that is why the Bible says in 2 Corinthians 5.17, If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. God has restored to us the new life, the life of Jesus Christ. We are a new creation. Not only are we redeemed, our sins forgiven, but we have become the children of God. We have become a new creation. So not only is it a redemptive message, not only is it a restoring message, it is also a revival message. Jesus said in John 10.10, 10, The thief comes but to steal and to kill and to destroy. But I have come that you may have life and have it abundantly. This life of Jesus revives us. This life of Jesus is not just a life in drops. The Bible says, I came that you may have life and have it in full, abundantly, overflowing. And so this month, as we talk about inherit royal message, we are talking about the redemptive message, the restoring message, and the revival message. And may God richly and abundantly bless you this week as you meditate on this message. God bless you.